This video was sponsored by all of the fantastic backers over at Patreon. Check the link out in the description or go to patreon.com forward slash stuff plus to find out more. Generic greetings and welcome back to Into the Breach. That's actually quite difficult to say. This is a game I featured recently as of the time recording as a full series and it went better than I could have ever hoped for. If we go to new game, you can see that we've completed the Rift Walks, which is the very first squad that you get as a four island normal difficulty and all three uh, all three achievements so basically it couldn't have got any better than that the only problem with that series is that not a lot of people watched it the people that did watch it really like it but because it's not really about you know building things and whatnot I don't think um, this a lot of people who have subscribed really got into that one I can totally understand that but quite honestly there's not been a game for a long time that I've really devoted so much energy and time into and also I've just really enjoyed making the series more than almost any other in a long time. I've just really, really got into this thing and I just don't know, something clicked. But I couldn't justify keeping the series going with the amount of people that are watching it. But this is perfect for a Patreon video where we can just play as long as we need to and the people that really like it can get into it. And I don't have to worry about people who's watching and all that sort of garbage. So let's just let's just play it. Let's just enjoy it and play it, go, go along for the ride. That's what it's about. So I'm going to change up squad here and we've got many, many different squads. We've got uh, the Rift Walkers. We've got the Rusting Hulks, which is quite funky. They push people around as well as have a lot of uh, smoke with... Um, it's a lot of smoke, but also a lot of um, damage in the smoke as well, which is fairly cool. We've got the Zenith Guard, which I've... Um, oh, that's a lot of beam technology and also like a, a ram thing. And uh, I believe it's like a science thing that pulls things back and forward. The Blitzkrieg, which they're okay. Flings a rock and one's got like a lightning whip thing. We've got the Steel Judoka, which I've never played, but a friend tells me they're not very good. Although mm, I don't really know what the deal is. Flame Behemoths, which I really, really like, where you basically set everybody on fire. We've got the Frozen Titans, which I've recently unlocked as uh, on another account and um, another profile rather, and I, I I can't really get away with them. I'm starting to pick it up now. And finally, we've got the hazardous mechs, which is uh, they're really they're really funky. Um, apparently, because it says uh, they have uh, spectacular damage output, but they rely on um, dead vector stay alive. So I'm guessing they they take damage or something like that when, if they don't kill anything or maybe every turn. I don't really know. I've never played them. But what I'm going to do is we're going to go through multiple playthroughs. I'm, basically, I'm going to play this until someone just so, probably knocks on my door and just says stop, just stop playing it now. Um, so I'm going to go with probably the Rusting Hulks first because it only takes two coins to unlock and then we'll probably play as far as we get and then that'll give us enough points to unlock either the Hazardous Mechs or the Flame Behemoths. The problem is I do want to try these Hazardous Mechs but if I pick the Flame Behemoths I won't be able to do that because we're, we're using five points and we'll only have two left whereas if I pick these ones, the Rusting Hulks, Rustling Hulks, that's something different. Uh, if we play the Rusting Hulks we only take two points which takes us down to five and then one more we get to uh, the six and we get that so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna knock the rusting hulks there we go and let's just play this off so the normal difficulty I'm not gonna play it on hard because uh, because I'm not basically I don't know why I've never tried it on hard mode but uh, let's just crack on with this one and uh, let's see how it goes so as standard patreon series format basically uh, we don't have to worry too much we don't have to blast through everything we can take just slow the pace basically hmm like the Cronenberg advert, which is a really, really crappy reference. Anyway, so we've got a jet mech, we've got rocket mech, and pulse mech. So jet mech, we have a lily reed, which gives us an extra power. So we've got aerial bombs, which you can see we jump over someone which is fine, and we cause a point of damage as well as smoke. We have our rocket mech, which fires a rocket and does two damage and pushes them back. Very, very good, but also puts a smoke clown behind them. And also, storm generator. This is the, the main thing to look at. So... Obviously, we're creating a lot of smoke with the rocket artillery and the aerial bombs already, but Storm Generator, all smoke deals damage to enemy units every turn. Extremely powerful. And then we have this thing, the Pulse Mech, which, quite frankly, just pushes people out of the way. And you might think that's fairly useful. Uh, it is, at times, and other times it's completely and utterly useless. However, let's go with... Well, we got plus one... Um, we got plus one speed of oh, energy on this one, so I'm going to go for move. There we go, and we're just going to go with. Do we start? Do we start somewhere like say Detritus and go back over? We have. See, last time we started there and went there, but I think if we go the other way, it might be a bit different. So let's go with Detritus Disposal. So here we go. We'll continue on that one. We've got the Wasteland and we've got Nanite Farms. Now, Nanite Farms is going to be quite difficult with uh, two energy and one uh, star with copper rep. Let's go for the Wasteland, which is kill four enemies infected with acid is the bonus objective. So let's crack on with this one. So we've got an acid tank over there. So we're going to put... Oh, good grief. So we've got three scorpions. So these are going to be jumping and webbing all over the place. So what I'm going to do is put my... 
jet mech there, the artillery there, and then the pusher there because they might jump ahead. And then confirm. So here we go. So it says kill four enemies in in inflicted with acid. I said infected with acid before. It's uh, inflicted. So, as you can see, they're moving around. I expected that guy to, to do that. So, we need to hit them with acid, and the thing is, does this acid, does it push people back? No, it just hits them with acid, which is a bit of a shame. So, the acid, when you hit them with the acid, shoot projectile that inflicts acid. Acid is uh, a double damage bonus when you hit them with weapons. Not ramming, but, you know, everything else. So... We have these as, well, the Scorpions of 3 health, which is interesting. Um, actually, they're always 3 health, but uh, I'm just thinking of something else. So we can kill this one quite easily. Um, we would be able to simply, well, just, just get the Rocket Mech and do that, and that would kill it dead. That would be fine. However, is that a good idea? What we're going to do with Jet Mech? Jet Mech, we can probably... How many how much movement has this got? Four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wouldn't be able to get there, which is quite a shame. So we're going to have to... Probably push him. Um, actually, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to acid this guy. I'm going to then do that, which will kill them, which gives us one on that one. This guy will probably... Actually, I'm not going to pull, so I'm going to go there and then jet over. Now, that will hit them with smoke and cancel the attack and also do another point in damage when the... You can see there's, like, lightning in that. And then this guy, quite simply, I just push and there we go, and he's going to attack nothing. So that's fine. However, as you can see, we're going to get uh, three spawns. One of them will already be acid -d 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 -d, so we don't need to worry too much about that one, although it is a, it is a scarab. Uh, that guy is hitting me there. Uh, this guy is hitting me there. That's a problem. That guy is staying still. That's the explodey one, I think. I think that's the explodey one. Uh, let's have a quick look. This is the explodey one, is it? It's the blast scion, yes. Yeah, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. So this guy's going to hit me for one damage. Don't really care too much. That guy, we can kill one shot outright. Um, he is going to... Well, we could kill him by pushing him, but that will also destroy this, and I don't quite like that. Also, when we kill something, this is going to uh, get us dead as well. Now, we can survive a hit there and a hit there. That's not a problem. However, we do need to kill this guy very, very quickly. That's not pretty much of a problem. That guy will be dead. Acid tank won't be doing anything. Um, the problem is we can't get acid tank into a position where he can shoot anything of great use. Like, I would like to shoot that person, but I can't. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to acid the scarab. I'm going to get this guy to jet over the top. Now, obviously, we're flying, so we're not going to go on the acid. That's going to not cancel anything because it's not attacking, but it is going to kill him, so that should be fine. Uh, this guy, if we fire that way, it will push him back and then it'll explode, so we don't need to worry about the explosion. Oh, no! We lost the acid tank! Damn it, I forgot about that. Um, okay, I'm going to reset the turn there. Because, yeah, I didn't... Uh, I, I totally did not realise that. However, wherever I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand on acid. Well, to be fair, it doesn't matter if this guy stands on acid, because double damage on this guy means nothing, because he's only got one health, so it really matters not. So let's just try that again. There we go, and then this guy goes over there, and there we go. So, we've killed two units with acid. Uh, this guy's covered in acid anyway. Uh, we're going to get a spawn there. Only one spawn, but that guy's going to take two damage and he's going to take one. Um, we could push him, but as I said, that would kill him and then make him more explosions, so that would cause him to take a point of damage, that take another point of damage, so pretty much destroy that. So we'll end the turn. Uh, actually, you know what we'll do? We will... Ah, yeah, we're going to have to end the turn. There's nothing we can do about that one. So here's the enemy turn. Actually, what'll happen is I'll kill him first with this electric damage. There we go. He'll attack me there. Then the uh, guy will attack me up there. Then this will fire over and hit me for one last damage. So I've got one left. That's a problem. Hmm. Today's beverage is water, by the way. Sparkling, though, so it is quite tasty. So, um, anyway, looks like everything's moving about the place. This is a problem because I think that building is going to get absolutely plastered. Um, we, we don't need to worry too much about that. We don't need to worry too much about that. It's just these two. And we can kill both, I believe. We can simply put him to there. Oh, no, he's already acided, so we don't need to worry too much there. Um, I want to kill... I want to kill that one and that one. So... What's the best way of going about it? Well, he's acided, so we can quite simply do that. That'll kill him dead, no problem. This one, we can get jet mech over there, which, um, for some reason gets acided even though we're flying. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna question it too much. So that would be able to kill him and hit, and then he'll kill that one there. No problem whatsoever. Uh, could we be, could we be even cleverer about, cleverer about it? Uh, we could do that, and then fire that way, which would kill him, and also cover him in uh, a smoke, which will then allow that guy to move, 
and then jet mech can go there and kill him because oh no it won't kill him but it will hit him um with smoke it'll do two damage rather than the one but then the but then the lightning will kill him okay that's the call so we're going to do that that stops his attack this guy will attack there so I'll kill that guy there attack that that guy's attack gets cancelled and then i can go I can't really go anywhere that's of great use, so instead what I'll do is go down this side and I will just repair because obviously being on one health is a little bit problematic. And then I will uh, shoot some acid. Uh, the problem is you can only shoot acid in a direct line, you see. Um, we'll just shoot it there because why not? More acid, more better. So there's uh, three out of four killed. This guy will be killed this turn. This is the last spawn, so we've got range beetle, range beetle. This guy now acid. Did, did, did. That guy's going to just probably range that. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to range the acid tank. That guy's going to range acid tank. So acid tank's getting absolutely plastered. But um, quite frankly, we don't care because, well, we just don't. Now, I can't go there and fire. Um, yeah, we don't care. Ah, that's a problem. We can't use our push because of, that, because of all the smoke about. Okay, fine. Um, so I don't really care about this guy, but I do need to kill him. Kill him will give me the bonus objective. The kill this guy because he's going to attack that. Well, that's quite easy. He's just going to rocket that. That, that could be. That could, that's fine. Can't really push him because it'll push him into the acid there, and he'll go there, and I can't push him elsewhere. So this is going to be fairly pointless. Uh, if I get Jet Mech over to there and then hit him like that, that will kill the guy. There we go. And then the acid tank can move there and then hit him with acid, which will uh, actually cause him to take two damage. This guy will plaster him, which will kill him. There we go. And we've only got these two left. And quite frankly, there's not much I can do. So I will simply push him there because I can. And then uh, what's the attack order? It is... Oh, that's fine. They're not going to kill each other. But we've lost no power grade and we've got the bonus objective. So that's fine. We could have killed a bit more, probably, but we didn't really have any good pushes. And because of the smoke, yeah, there we go. Okay. That's fine, I think. So, unlocked a couple more. We've got two high thre uh, threats. I'm not going to do that. We've got venting fields here, which is... Oh, it's the train. I might try the other missions. I think the train is the worst mission in the game. I think it is terrible. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I can't do it. Um, this one is Nanite Farms, which is... Uh, power plants in the sector are critical against the Vec Commander. If lost, we may lose detritus as well. Well, to be fair, I don't think it's worth saving. Uh, they have three spawns plus a... Is that an alpha? I don't know if that's an alpha, but it's defend both power plants and take less than three grid damage. Pumping station is Vec Lives uh, highs, uh, The Vec Hive lies directly beneath the waste disposal tanks in this region. Detonate the vats and the chemical runoff will destroy the hive. So we have to destroy the acid vats and also uh, protect the coal power plant. And we've got one ranged and three other spawns with a bit of water over there. Well, this one should be easier to push people in, and we do have a lot of pushing. Although, when you look at it, because of the mountains, the mountains might cause us an issue. So, oh God, do I really want to try the train? Oh, I'm going to try the train for my sins. Like I said, I, I totally despise the train mission. I, I can't describe just how much I really, really do hate it. Oh, great, and a pod comes in as well, because of course it does. Oh, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Everything's fine. The problem is that the train moves forward, right? Every turn. And if it hits something, it, it'll, um, if it hits something, it will, uh, It'll get destroyed. And then you do get another bonus objective to defend the wreck. But it's really difficult because it moves two spaces. So you can't stand in this train track and you can't have it ram into each other. So that one is attacking that. This guy's doing nothing. This guy's attacking him. So I can avoid that by just moving there. Right. And then I could do that. Which not only cancels that guy's attack, but it'll do a couple of points of damage. This guy, I'll bring my push mech into it. And then push him that way. And this guy will... Hmm, we need to kill him somehow. How are we going to kill him? Uh, hang on. Smokestorm. One thing. Enemy units. Okay, it doesn't damage train. Train is a neutral unit. At least it should be. So he could stop him. He could push him. Then he could just simply fire that way. We could do that. It would be nice... If there was another way I could move, I could do that, which would end up killing him. 
Um. If I did that, he would be able to move there, hit him. Does this push back, by the way? It does push back. So push him to there. Do more damage. This guy would die anyway. He'd be pushed to there. That's the better call, I think. That's the better call. So he goes to there. Because then it'll stop a spawn, you see. So that stops a spawn. That'll stop him. He'll go to there. Uh, he'll go to there. He'll push... He'll fire first, actually. Oh, if I do that, he will not be able to fire. Ah, right. Because, obviously, I'll put him in smoke. Um, undo move. Undo move. He goes there first. Then he pushes the guy. There you go. Then he moves to there. Then he fires the smoke. Like that. Which, obviously, is going to smoke that guy. But it doesn't matter. He's going to fire over there. End the turn. Okay. Not terrible. But not great. I think we did the best we could there. As always, it's interesting reading the comments and people pointing out what you could have done better. And I don't take it in any bad way as well. It's really interesting to see how other people play and what they do. It's great. Um, so anyway, a couple of uh, a couple of random spawns here. Nothing to really worry about. Uh, this guy, he's got three damage. That is an issue, but I can move there and then fire down. That'll kill him. Uh, this one, that's a bit of an issue because, quite frankly, I don't think I can get to them. No, I can't. So actually, him... I'm going to have to I'm going to have to use my artillery mech and kill him. I don't have a choice. Not that I can see anywhere. I need to kill that guy. How can I do it? Oh, I can. No, I can't. <laughs> if this guy had one more uh, speed, I'd be able to get to there, push him into there and it would kill him. But I don't have one more speed, so I can't. I could potentially do that. No, it would cause only a point of damage. This guy can move how far? Uh, four. One, two, three, four. It doesn't have enough movement. So this guy cannot get to there, and he's only got to push. So that rules him out of taking care of those two. So who can take their care of those two? Well, I can... I can do that, which will kill him. That guy's only firing there. That won't be too much of a problem, because I can go there. And then do that, which will take another point of damage off him. Or I could just kill him. Yeah, which way do I want to go with this one? I think I think that's the call. That that there. This guy more in the center. There's damage there. And then if I really wanted to, I could do that and kill him. Or I could, if I wanted to, block a spawn. I think I think blocking a spawn is more important because this guy's too far back if I put him there and kill him yes I've killed him but the train's going to be here and he's going to rush that way and he's going to be well out of range so it's sort of pointless so we'll end the turn there okay let's see right one more turn for the train so we've got that guy's not to worry about that guy, oh, he's nothing to worry about. He's nothing to worry about. Right, perfect. This is great. Um, the AI has basically screwed it up. So he's attacking that, so we need to take care of him. Um, obviously, train's gonna get. Uh, this guy's gonna, guy's gonna get away with the train. He can kill him. Um, actually, he's too damaged, so he's probably best at moving there. He's probably best moving there. Um, so he'll kill him. He'll kill him. Although I will take a point of damage there. No, I won't, because I won't be there, will I? I'll be there when I am finished. And this guy will... Quite frankly, that's it. Okay, let's just do that. One. Two. And... If I really wanted to, I could do that. And that cast cancels the attack, so I won't take a point of damage. There we go. Point of damage on him. Doesn't really matter. He fires. It's going to hit there. Train gets to the end. Yay! That is genuinely the first time I have ever completed a mission with the train. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever been able to successfully defend the train. Not even get it to the end. I've never been able to have the train get destroyed and then save the wreck. That's... <laughs> I've never been able to do that. Anyway, we've got a pod which is give us a reactor car. Nothing special, but a reactor car is a reactor car. 
obviously. So where can we put said reactor core? Well, obviously, Lily's got four health and five movement. There's no need to... Uh, do anything else there. It would be nice, however, to pull that out of movement and put it into damage. That would be quite useful. Um, the Storm Generator, we do want to upgrade that as soon as possible because it does give us an extra damage. Uh, the Repulse Ability, if I give it to this guy, we could shield self when he does it, which will be very useful for blocking spawns. He's only got three health, but I think that might be of some use. It might be of some use. However, extra damage is always good, but it does do smoke. So, you know what? I think we'll install it there and give shield self. Okay. So, we have two options here. We've got nanite farms and we've got the acid vats. Uh, acid vats, I think, might not be too bad, but it means all sorts of stuff. I'm going to try this one here for my sins. And we've got a scorpion and two fireflies and an alpha firefly. Okay. The advantage we have is that we can... Um, we can smoke a lot of things up. But the thing is, there's four of them. So we're going to have to be very clever here. Very, very clever indeed. Right, so one of them we don't need to worry about. That one we do. Okay. So we only need to worry about three of them, which is fine. So this one here, this one here, and this one here. Well, because of where they've put it, I can't really do a lot. Um, ah, that's a shame. I would really like, I would really, really like to, uh, push him to there. How much damage does he do? Three damage. Hmm. So, I think I'm sort of blocked in here. I think the only way I can do this is to... Go him to... Ooh, is there a better way of doing this? So, he's on three health. I'm gonna shoot that. This one is on five. Can't kill it. Hang on, six health. Is it six? One, two, three, four, five health. My mistake. Yeah, five health. Um, objectives are defend the power plants, that one and that one, and uh, have less than three grid damage. We're fine. So don't have to worry about this one. Just these three. This one, don't think I can kill. Don't think I can kill because I can't. I simply, quite, quite simply, can't get into a place where I can shoot it and not kill anything or damage anything myself. Um. The only thing we could do is fire a rocket the other way. And that would smoke it up. That's not going to work. So, I'm going to use him to... Probably... Can't get him down there either. There's no real good way of getting about it. That guy's totally screwed me up. If I can kill him, it might help. But I'm not going to be able to kill him. So it's damage control. I need to put him in the water, ideally. Damn it. See, because we don't have the rock flinger or the artillery, it's just going to push back when it hits. That's the problem. And it just pushes him back. It doesn't kill the guy. So we have to use him. All right? That'll, that'll stop his attack. This guy, we can push out to there, which will then hit me for one damage, which is a bit of a shame. Actually, we don't need to do that. We can do it the other way. We can put him there and jump over the top. He'll then push him to there. That's fine, which won't be attacking anything. And then he will fire there, which will push him back and then do damage there. Okay, that's the call, I think. It's not great, but I think it's the best we can come up with. And there we go. And that also shields as well for posterity. Uh, however, we are going to be dealing with six enemies next turn. That's why this is a difficult mission. And, of course, it's the explodey one. Although, if they start attacking me, that would be very good. Okay. Right. So, got a bit of a mixed bag here. This is a Blast Scion. Just don't need to worry about him. He's going to fire three that way and kill him, though. That's a problem. If I move out, that shot will go through there. Yes, it will. The Blast Scion needs to die because he's going to fire and he's going to kill him. The only thing I can do is do that, which means he won't fire. Still don't like the idea of that, though. Um, although, we could have a massive cluster here. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is interesting. So, the order of attack, two, three, four. That matters because if I put him to there, 
I will fire that, which won't, oh, will kill him. Doesn't matter, he'll go to there. And then three will fire and kill him. He won't be dead, so he'll take no damage, but he'll already be on one, he'll be on no health. Uh, sorry, he'll be on three health, because it won't be damaging him. This guy can push him into there. Um... Mm, I think that's the call. I, th I don't think there's much else I can do. And I'm still blocking that shot when I do this. So that goes to there. He pushes him to there. And he does that. Okay. Oh! Yeah. My mistake. I... Messed it up because, yeah, I didn't kill a Blast Scion. Because I thought I... I factored in the damage from the smoke, but not when it would happen. Reset the turn. Let's see if there's anything else I could have done. I don't think there is, though. I don't think there's much I could have done. Um, not really. Because I need to take care of him. Could ignore him. Could ignore the Blast Scion. Not ideal and just do other things. No, because this guy's going to kill it. The only thing I could probably do is kill a Blast Scion that way. And then he would be on to be fair, he would then be on two. I could have him jump over. Another point of damage than the Acid fire, but then we've still got him and him firing, so we'd actually take more grid damage that way. We would actually take more grid damage that way. Okay, so there might be a better call, but I'm not aware of it. So, because of that, I'm going to stick with the original plan. There must be a better way, but, well, there doesn't have to be a better way, but, hmm, either way. This is going to kill two again, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, because it blows them up. Yeah. Still lost one grid. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but we have killed... A couple of them there. Three left. With no spawns. So that's good. That's very good. He's done pretty much nothing other than just keep him annoyed all game. Oh, no, there's the spawns. That'll kill him dead. We can't have that. We could do that. That would kill him anyway, because it'll go... Two damage, you'll go over there, spawn will, spawn, will, spawn will hurt him. But then he will be firing that way, which will hit his own mate for three. Yes! And the attack order is two, three. That's fine. I don't need to worry too much about that then at all. Perfect. Excellent. That goes to there. See, the, see that's going to fire that. It's going to kill him because the order of attack is 2-3. I will, quite frankly, move down here because I'm sick of him being stuck. This guy will... Well, I might as well cause some damage. And I'll do it from the furthest to the closest because the closest you are to the center, generally the better. Um, just pulse that because why not? Um, so here we go. End we turn. This will fire. Well, that'll take a point of damage from the smoke. Then this will fire. <laughs> then that kills him there. Excellent. And then we only get one spawn. So, almost certainly I'll be able to kill uh, these mechs. Or will I? No, because these don't do much damage, you see. And he's webbed anyway. That's a shame. I can't actually can't actually do anything about that. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't actually do anything about that. He's going to do point of damage. But, hey-ho. Um, is there anything I can do that's funky? I can kill that guy. Can't kill him. Um, do you know what the worst thing is? I'm, I, if I was one further away, I would be able to fire this side, but you can't fire off the map. If I was, say, there, and he was there, which you wouldn't be able to get around, but just hypothetically, I'd be able to fire opposite way, and then the smoke would black blast and um, hit him, but nah, it's not going to happen. Okay, fine, so we'll just go to there and put up, and yeah, that'll do, and he'll just just fire there because he can, and it's more smoke, and end the turn. There you go, we'll take a point of damage, it doesn't really matter, because we've got all the bonus objectives done. So, we lost a grid, but we're going to gain two grids, so net profit one, job done. Hmm. Okay, so we've got defend both power plants and take less than three grid damage. Excellent. And we've now got plus one mech reactor as a level up. There you go. And uh, nanite farms completed. So plus one mech reactor. Um, 
Uh, I guess movement is always useful on, on that sort of thing. We've got nano sites, which is defensive shields active and block exploring three times. And the pumping station, which is destroy the acid vats and protect the coal plant. Well, no good to the glory. Let's try it. We have to get absolutely hammered at one point. So we've got an alpha scarab and then a blast scion, which is never good. We'll put those like that. Uh, no, 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 no. The other way around. Obviously, we need to destroy the vats, the acid vats for bonus objectives, which is going to be very difficult because we have to do direct damage. Um to the thing. Okay. This is problematic because we're all stuck in. Um, see, this would be quite easy if I was playing the other guy because I would just shoot there and you'd go in the water. Which is why you should never underestimate them, old guys. So these are just attacking me. So I don't need to worry too much about that one. However, that's a problem. That's a big problem. That I can't deal with. Oh, hang on. And that will kill him. Right, that's fine, but then he'll blow up. <laughs> that's not ideal, is it? I think we take it just for what it's going to do. Because it'll, it'll damage that, but it'll also destroy that. I'm going to do it, quite frankly. I think it might be worth it. Uh, we'll do that as well, because... Yeah. Do that. Then he fires to there, which kills both... That guy and then the acid and then he blows up. So we lose a grid, but we've taken out one of these, which we do need to do. Uh, done some damage here. That guy's going to die now and then we block a spawn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Again, if there's anything in here that you think we could have well, done better, then let me know. It's the only way you learn. So, Alpha Scarab shooting me. Don't need to worry about that. This guy shooting that. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the Alpha Scarab. This is just him. It's just him, really. Um, quite frankly, we could do that, which will <laughs> do a fair bit of damage. Uh, and then we could even just, just fire and kill him. Yeah, actually, that's the better option. That is the better option. Okay, we're doing that. This guy is going to fire and kill. I'm actually going to move closer to the center because I think it's useful. Fire that way. That will kill him hit that, then what I'll do is stand there, which will push, which will kill, uh, hit the acid tank into the mountain. What's it called, actually? Oh, acid vat, sorry, not an acid tank. Acid tank, you can actually have a tank with acid, which we've seen at the start of the game. Uh, that'll kill two of those. Boom, splash, and then there we go. And then finally, we do that, which will uh, cancel his attack and then take another point of damage with the uh, electric lightning smoky stuff. Cool. Excellent. Happy with that one. Very happy. Very happy. Okay, so that guy's dead. He probably doesn't know it yet, but he is, because I'm just going to push him in there. He's going to attack that. Um, these are attacking each other, so quite frankly, I don't need to worry too much about them. Um, question is, do I want to be even cleverer? I could be cleverer. I could be. One, two, three, four. Yes, I could. Oh, not, but he'd be there. Four movement. One, two, three, four. Shame. Shame. Although I could do it that way. Ah, it still works. It still works. Okay. So, we're going to play clever. Box clever. So, my original plan was to pulse, pu push him in there, then go to there, hit him, blah, blah, a couple of damage. But, better idea. Much better idea. He goes to there, fires there, kills two. Like that. Alright, that deals with that one. Um, he will then go into... One, two, three, four... Ah! It's not as clever as I thought because I don't have as much movement. That's a shame. <laughs> I thought I could move further. Not that it matters. Um, it's going to be that, I think. Yeah. Oh, I can! I can! I, I, I thought I could. And then push them like that. So one splash. One not attacking. And uh, we'll take a point in damage anyway. <laughs> there we go. I thought I did the maths. I'm just thinking, must have done it wrong. Must have done it wrong. So only two spawns in here. Fairly easy to deal with. Um, yeah, we can kill both. He pushes them into there. He dies. He goes to there. Point of damage. Going to be another point of damage in a second. Actually, there won't be because I'm just going to oh, kill him. <laughs> End the turn. There you go. They called it hard, and it was quite difficult to think about that one. But we completed it. Excellent. Mission completed. rated. So, destroy acid vats, protect the coal plant, continue. Bumph. 
and warning seismic activity so we now have corporate hq so so far there you go very all, very well done so all of these completed with all stars all bonus objectives as well as the uh as well as the time pod so corporate hq we've detected an unknown vec approaching the tritus hub we're gathering what intel we can commander but we need the rustling hulks so i call them rustling hulks the rusting hulks i call them the rustling hulks so we've got a ooh, we got a blob uh, blob, I've never versed big blob before, I don't think. So it's a large goo. So its goo attack is to simply go and move forward by the look of it. Oh, and it destroys everything it moves into. Oh, how far does it move? That's that's important to know. Right, okay, let's do that. Um, lots of acid around here, so we're hopefully funneling them into the acid. He's attacking straight forward. That's fine with me. Okay. So, he's going to attack him right, right forward. It is, is it just one uh, adjacent tile? It'll squish an adjacent tile. It just kills them. Good to know. So, uh, he's only got three health, though. Ah. Yeah, there's no way that if he dies, he's going to be dead dead. I reckon he'll spawn more of himself. I honestly think that's the case. Um, so, we need to get rid of him. Um, what's the best way of doing it? That'll give you some damage there. We can easily kill him. If he goes in the water, can he not fire? Water will prevent shooting. Yes. Okay, okay. That acid him. Acid him, yeah, acid him. Artillery him. Kill two. That's the call. He gets acided. Is he shielded now as well? So that's good. But he won't be there anyway. Um, he goes there and then kills him. He's not dead now, but he will be because of the smoke. I factored that in. And we either... No, doesn't matter. Doesn't We don't either. I was going to put him there and shoot and kill him. But no, I, quite frankly, I think that is the call. Two more spawns. But we've got him, slimy guy, to deal with. Okay. Perfect. Not bad. Need to put some damage out to him, though. Um, he could just pulse, quite frankly. Kill one. Um, do I want to do that? It's the question. Well, I want to stop him attacking, so I would be doing that. Or could do that and then put him there and pulse and he'll die and he'll die that's the better call because it'll kill him and kill him I'll get acid did it but we've done that now and we'll do that which is gonna probably spawn loads more whatever things come out of this one ah oh, destroy five goos oh yes goos there's the goose. <laughs> right, so we need to focus on goose now. Get this objective done. Um, well, we could just pulse that way. Oh, no, I wouldn't kill both. He's on one health. He's on two health. So, we could go to... We can't go to there, but we could go to there. That'll kill that goo. This one, I will... To there and do that. Kill them. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do though is kill this guy first and see what goos spawn because that might change my orders. See, they're not attacking. The little goos. Ah, look at that. If I do that, it'll kill two goos. Yes. Excellent. Four, four goos killed so far. Um, and we've still got him. Which, that's going to die there from the smoke. Them two are still going to be alive. I'd rather deal with him. There we go. So, there's our last goo kill. At least it should have been. There we go. It's upgrade. It's updated finally. The scorpion is going to be the problem. Hmm. 
This is a bit of a problem. This is a problem. Uh, actually, a lie. It's not a problem at all. He can fire there. That'll kill him. He'll move to there. He'll push him into the smoke. Stop firing. He'll go into there. He won't be a problem. Yeah, that's it. Done the math straight away. That to there. Push him to there. Boom. There you go. So we've got a goo there. We've got him. He's not going to die, but pff, it just doesn't really matter. I mean, he can just jump over that. And there's another goo killed. I mean, yeah. Easy. Easy. There you go. Good Samaritan. Don't know what that achievement is. We're going to check it out in a second. And perfect battle achievement. <laughs> Vec, uh, abomination's down and our corporate hub is intact. You and the rustling, uh, rustling hulks <laughs> uh, have Detritus to to Gratitude. Unlocked. New skill. Mech reactor. Understood. Perfect island. Duty our efforts, Commander. Our success to, fa success to failure ratio has reversed since your arrival. Uh, permit Detritus to, to share... The fruits that was a success with you. Okay, fine. So we now have a couple of options. We have Henry Quant Mech can move through enemy units. That's stupidly powerful. Uh, plus two to grid or shield tank. Any class, any weapon. Deploy a shield tank that can give shields to allies. Oh, we're getting a shield tank. Of course we're getting a shield tank. And we have an additional power. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the shield tank on there, you know, because... Quite frankly, when he can't pulse, we need to deploy a shield tank. Cool, spend reputation. We have a sail, which is a science class weapon. Shield tiles from damage, that's very useful. We've got a shield tank now. A shrapnel cannon, which is a brute class weapon, which does damage too, but also pushes everybody about, but it's only one shot. We've got an acid projector, which is science class weapon. Fire a projector that applies acid and pushes. Ooh, that's really powerful. Oh, that's a shame that we've put that tank on. Do we want the tank? Is a shield tank better? Deploy a shield tank then give shields to allies. The shield, do the tank doesn't disappear. It says use super battle. That means we can deploy one tank. The question is though, do we want to have that or do we want to have acid projector which point, point of damage and pushes people back. It's a ranged weapon on our pulse mech. And it's two... Uh, how many power is it? No power at all. And no... And you can use it all the time. Oh, that's very powerful. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to keep uh, that in the, in the bank, I think. Let's get additional movement there. So extra grid. Uh, I think, well, no, we're going to go for uh, one, two of those. Power cores. And I think two damage on the aerial bombs. Shield friendly is quite useful as well. Look, see that? But it does cost two. Um, extra move there. We could take that off and give it another damage. So it causes three damage. At this stage, that's quite powerful. However, I think an additional area bomb. Oh, additional range actually is the best. Look at that. Boom, boom. <laughs> that's very good because it applies smoke. Um... I'm going to install both and I'm going to give it the range because there's been a couple of times there that additional damage would have been useful but the range would have been even better. So that gives us more options, I think. We can always switch it around. Excellent. And then we'll leave the island. Uh, sorry, unspent corporate reputation. Um, what can we... S we could sell the acid tank. Sorry, the uh, that thing there. And then we'd have two rep and oh, we can't get that. So, quite frankly, I'll go for an extra grid. So we got full grid, grid defense 15, uh, perfect iron, let's leave the island, and there we go, that is that done. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there for this episode, but before we knock it on the head, we're going to go to main menu, actually no, we'll go to achievements. We got, good Samaritan, earn 9 reputation for missions on a single island, perfect, that's good, and we also got, uh, what did we get? Oh, perfect battle. Take no mech or building damage in a single battle. Repair damage is still damage. So that was the final HQ, wasn't it? Spot on. Excellent. Right, that is where we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we will go ahead and play the others, essentially, or play an island. I'm going to try and get, try and get one island done every episode. But as you go go through the islands obviously it gets harder so we'll see how it goes um what island would you like to see next Just let me know in the comments and we will go from there as always um i appreciate all the patreon backers uh, it makes series like these possible where we don't have to worry about views and watch time and all that sort of stuff and the people that really love the series can watch it people that don't care about it they don't need to care you know it's it, that's just 
yeah, it's just great. So thank you for the freedom that you afford me. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.